Hey guys, in this Elden Ring video, I'm going to show you my New Game Plus build for a Zamor Flame Warrior. This is a level 253 build that focuses on melee and magical attacks with a special emphasis on a single twin blade. In this guide video, I'm going to show you my attribute stats, details on my weapons, armor and other equipment, spells, and talisman. If you're new here, please sub to this channel for Elden Ring builds and guides, and after this video is over, head on over to my channel for more Elden Ring build videos. I'm the flash nigga in the world All right, so here are the attribute stats for this build. Now, keep in mind, I was trying to make sort of like a warrior fighter type character, and I really wasn't too concerned with soft caps. I was just concerned about getting whatever benefits I could to make my character the best warrior as possible. So my vigor is gonna be at 63, mind at 40, endurance at 28, strength at 63, dexterity at 28, intelligence at 20, Faith is going to be at 69, and then my Arcane is at 38. So I, I really want to boost my Faith up as much as possible, as well as my Viger. So I wanted those to be as high as possible along with strength, so I could just go in there and just hit things with my Fire Stick and do as much damage as possible while keeping myself alive as much as possible. All right, so when it comes to weapons for this build, I'm only using one, and that's going to be a plus 25 twin blade. I've got the Ash of War for Flame Strike on it, skill that emits flame in a wide frontward arc. Follow up with a strong attack to perform a lunging sweeping strike. This will also coat the armament and fire. I've got it with the flame art, so whenever I do normal attacks on this thing, no matter what, it's always going to deal flaming damage or fire damage. I love this weapon. I only use one of them. You could use two for more damage, but I just think it looks cooler using it with one weapon. For my fire seal, I'm using a plus 25 giant seal. When you equip this thing, it boosts giant's flame incantations, and I'm going to be using a lot of those, and I'll tell you about my incantations in just a second. For my armor, since this is a Zamor warrior build, I'm using the entire Zamor set. That's going to be the Zamor mask, the Zamor armor, the Zamor bracelets, and the Zamor leg wraps. I just love the way the entire Zamor set looks on my character. That hair is so cool. When it comes to my talisman, I'm using the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. Then there's the Lightning Scorpion Charm, this is sort of an optional one. A talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen, raises lightning attack power but lowers damage negation. There's a specific reason why I have that on there right now, I'm using it to uh, farm different zones, but if I wasn't using this, I would definitely be using the Fire Scorpion's Charm, one of these two. Then there's going to be the Two Fingers Heirloom talisman engraved with the legend of the two fingers it raises your faith like five points i do believe it's a five point raise and then radagon's scar seal raises vigor endurance strength and dexterity but also increases damage taken you shouldn't be taking any damage playing this game at this level but if you do you're going to take more but it doesn't matter because vigor in this build is so high you're going to you know survive a couple of hits for my mixed wondrous physic, I got Flame Shroud and Crack Tear temporarily boost fire attacks, and then Thorny Crack Tear temporarily boost successive attack power. All right, so when it comes to my incantations, my magic, I've got the standard three Golden Vow for increased attack and defense. Then there's Blessing of the Herb Tree for healing over time, and then Flame Grant Me Strength for increased physical and fire affinity attack power. Then I've also got regular heal for what I don't want to use my flask. And then lightning spear. Lightning spear covered with that lightning scorpion charm is going to make this thing hit for a lot harder. I like lightning spear because it is a super long range attack. You can just hit stuff at a distance and probably one shot them if you're fighting something that's weak to lightning or if you're strong enough for that. Uh, and then I've got Giant's Flame Take V. This is the ultimate spell. It's a giant, massive fireball that just destroys a group of enemies if they happen to be grouped up. Doesn't have that long of a range, so you have to be careful when throwing this. And then I've got Ancient Dragon's Lightning. Now this is my end-all, be-all, kill-all. If I'm fighting something that I'm having a super tough time with, this will drain its health. Barrier of Gold if I'm fighting something that has magic attacks because that happens a lot in this game surprisingly and that will protect you from those magic attacks and then Flame Protect Me if you're dealing with something that deals in fire because that surprisingly pops up a lot enemies that deal fire. 
how I like to use this build in combat is pretty simple and straightforward. When clearing out a zone, I rely heavily on my incantation magic, using all of my buff spells to make my character stronger so I can easily take out little enemies with one to two strikes of my twin sword. For stronger enemies that aren't quite bosses, I'll activate the Flame Strike Ash of War to deal extra burning damage to targets on top of what they already get from the Flame Art Affinity. For those not quite boss enemies, I usually soften them up with Giant's Flame Take B and finish them off with a series of melee strikes from my twin sword. For the actual bosses, the standard three buffs are necessary, Golden Vow, Blessing of the Earth Tree, and Flame Grant Me Strength. Then I'll use my Mixed Physic to enhance my fire damage and consecutive attack power. At the start of the fight, I summon the Black Knife Tish plus 10, which is my favorite Ash summon because his attack deals damage over time to the enemies and he is elusive. He dodges attacks and is hard for most bosses to hit and that keeps their attention. When doing these fights, I'll sub out my Scorpion Charm, Fire or Lightning for the Claw Talisman to enhance my jumping attacks. And then the next part is simple. While Black Knife has my boss's attention, I get in there with a jumping attack or a dash attack with my flaming twin sword and keep up the attacks. Dodge any attacks they may throw at me and try to get as many consecutive attacks in as I can with a few jump attacks thrown in here and there if possible. If I ever see an opening for a spell, it will be Giant's Flame Take V or Ancient Dragon's Lightning. And in a few minutes, most bosses are done for, making this easily one of my favorite builds. Now, what do you think of this build? I'm genuinely interested in what you would do to suit it to your own playstyle. And remember, I know all about the soft caps in Elden Ring, and they really don't bother me at level 253 or whatever crazy level I'm at. Benefits are still there, however small, and those are the benefits that I really wanted for this build. High fire damage, high melee damage, and a lot of HP. If you liked the build, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. My name is Vinas Eshkian, and thank you guys so very much for watching. If you have a Twitter, follow me on Twitter at VSGNSocial. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Peace out. I'm the